So here we go with round one. Seems to be a situation in which he wants to do everything in his power to keep this fight on the feet. He's going to have a lot of advantages at distance. We'll see if he can get it done tonight. Yes, he has all the advantages because we don't see many specialists anymore in the UFC. Guys can generally do everything, but this guy is a jiu-jitsu player. He wants to get the fight to the crown and start to weave. Whoa! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Oh, huge right hand! Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here for the opponent. You got to intelligently defend, or the referee's gonna stop. You got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture, and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs it. Oh, pretty good entry there, and he gets the fight to his wheelhouse on the ground. Beautiful takedown into the full guard. Look for him to posture and use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. Now he's gonna try to attack Kimura here. Oh, now he's in trouble. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Is his opponent by way of submission. Let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. 